What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. In the last episode, we defeated Demigra and it has been ever so long since we've been here. I've been very busy as we have been unlocking very special items known as, uh, <laughs> something here. Hold on, they are Time Chasm Crystal Shards. We've been collecting these because all together, these five will unlock a brand new hidden saga, which is so exciting and very cool. I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but you may have also noticed we now have seven Dragon Balls. There's a lot has changed that I want to go over really quickly though. As you can see, we have actually leveled up. I think I was level 55, maybe at the most, when we last, you know, recorded. Now we are level 62, and you can see that our equipment is much more different. I changed everything up for the four-star Dragon Ball costume, which was very, very expensive, but was also very nice. It it has basically the same stats as the GT Goku, but this is, um, it looks a bit better in my opinion, to say the least. Not only that, but you know, everything, it's nice and boosted. I think everything is looking good, so I've never ever done this, so let's see what happens when we put the Dragon Balls into this pedestal. You have seven Dragon Balls. Would you like to summon Shenron? Yes! Oh man, I'm excited. What's gonna happen? Uh-oh. I'm nervous. Like, what's gonna, like, what could happen? I don't even know. Here he is. This is so cool. Hi. Uh. Come, say your wish. Ooh. Okay. I want money. I want a rare item. I'll give item. you one wish. Ask for anything. Okay. I want to dress up. I want to get stronger. I want to grow. I want a new ultimate attack. I want a new super attack. I want more usable characters. Use of Oh, that sounds cool. I want a second chance at life. I want to be drafted and gorgeous. Hard. There is so much. Oh, man. I don't know which one to do. Oh man, I think I'm going to do more usable characters. But I want to know what I want to grow is, that's sort of weird. Uh, I want more usable characters. I just have to grab the one yes. wish, correct? Yes, Gogeta Super- uh, Thank you! Awesome! That is cool! We just got Gogeta Super Saiyan 4! Okay, I didn't have the original Gogeta, so that's really, really cool. So there we go, we got a free character. That is so awesome. So unfortunately, if we go back into our bag, it looks like we won't, oh, wait. Oh, okay, for a second I thought it said we still had them, and now we have zero, as you can see in the held slot. Hopefully soon we can get more of them. That would be really cool. So do we still have one extra, that other one? Because we did get a duplicate, but it's not sitting here, so I guess we didn't. Either way, let's go talk to Trunks and see what he has to say. You know, we've never gone on this big building. <laughs> I figure I will now. I figured that, you know, when we wanted to go here, the game would just make us go here, but I don't know what's in here. What is adventure in? Time Vault. Oh my! So I can replay everything here. Huh, <laughs> I didn't know you could do this. Okay then. I, man, I didn't know this was even here this whole time. Cool stuff, so if we ever did want to replay stuff, this is where we do it, I guess. Pretty cool. All right, then let's go actually talk to Trunks, who's over here, as he always is. And he does have a question mark over his head, so I'm hoping this will work. I don't see why it wouldn't. I should be able to do everything properly. Let's go and check it out. Hey! Oh, you came at the right time. I felt a strange energy heading to the time vault. I have a bad feeling about this. Will you go there with me? Uh, sure. Are you scared, Trunks? Thank you. Let's go there now. Look at this. History is about to be distorted. Uh-oh. Wonder. What's about to happen? The wormhole. That's probably what's to blame. Wormhole? What's that? A hole full of worms, maybe? It's like a tunnel. One that connects different dimensions together. Except here's the problem. Anyone who gets sucked into a wormhole is sent to an alternate dimension. <clears throat> if that happens, history will be completely messed up! I see now. Demigra has timed his magic attacks so he can cause confusion and distortion of time and space. My gosh, what a nightmare. At this rate, there will be another change in history. We have to find the wormhole and destroy it. I'm counting on you. Yeah, let's do it! Okay, we're doing something. Last moments, Goku's father, Bardock. Oh man. When conditions defeat 15 enemies, reduce Frieza's health to a certain amount. What's going on here? Age 737, that's a long time ago. 
Oh my, so wow, we are... Here's Bardock! This is cool! <laughs> Here I am. What's up, guys? It's me, Zebra. Huh? What's that? Amazing! That's Bardock! It's Goku's father! Bardock fought Frieza's army until the very end. If he fails, history will never be the same. Please help him! Well, you seem to be on my side. All right, let's show them what a team of Saiyans can do. What is this? The lowest of low-class warrior's friend is here? <laughs> Why, you? All right, then, so we're heated up here with Bardock. We have to save Planet Vegeta, but I, I don't know if I trust Trunks with that one. He says that if Bardock dies at this point, or, you know, gets destroyed really quickly, it's going to be like, I don't know, not, it's gonna mess with history, but this is where he died. I mean, he dies by Frieza's hands here, but it's like, Frieza's plan at this point, very set, is that he's going to destroy planet Vegeta. <laughs> I don't think that like, Bardock dying a little bit earlier would actually change that. Maybe I'm wrong with that, but I don't see how it could, because it's like, at this point, Goku should already be leaving the planet and all that kind of stuff, so I don't know how it would mess with history that much unless, you know, just, Frieza saying that he killed Goku's father might be an effect to it, but I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, feel free to let me know if you know. But this is a really cool hidden saga. I thought it was cool because there's nothing in the game that actually hidden Civis being here except for the fact that, you know, you can pick up the shards. So it was really cool to see, and it took me a while to get everything. Especially shard number four, I think it was, was such a pain. It took me like three days. <laughs> it was such a big pain in the butt, just because you had to get, you know, like, the one that was working the best for me was, of course, the hardest one, and I basically had to beat, um, Super Saiyan God Goku with under three minutes, and I just had to level up my character a bunch to actually be strong enough to do it. But basically, right now, we're trying to defeat 15 of these guys, all of the fruit gang again. <laughs> Frieza loves his fruit, I mean, maybe it was because he's Frieza, you know? <laughs> he likes to freeze up fruit and then serve it in, like, a smoothie or something. <laughs> Does he have some hi hidden undertones here? I always love the, uh, puns that are in the names of the Dragon Ball characters, it's very interesting. Okay, and then you. And we seem to be finishing these guys up pretty quickly at the moment. Yeah, it's overall cool. And come on, ooh, ooh, excuse me, so oh, we're all teleporting all over the place. I wonder how many I've defeated at this point. I'm not sure, it's quite 15. We just gotta keep going until we get there. I'm not sure how many it's gonna be for sure. But yeah, I mean, it's been a good while since I've last been here. I have to say that I'm really not sure if I'm going to be doing the GT DLC, just because it's $20 in total, and that's a lot more than what I was expecting, and I was a little disappointed by it. I feel like that was a bit overpriced for, you know, just what will be at most two videos, you know? And I just, I can't manage that right now. Maybe sometime in the future, but for right now, we're probably gonna finish up with this saga and then be done for a good while. Maybe there'll be some really enticing stuff once the, um more DLC packs come out. I know that DLC pack number three is coming out. Not really sure if it's going to have any quest content. I would really hope it would, because that would make a lot of sense, and it would be really cool. Okay, let's take you out, buddy. Ready? Hubba! But yeah, the GT DLC looked really cool, and, and offered some really cool characters, you know, like the Super Saiyan 4 characters, and um, Omega Shenron, that kind of cool stuff, but unfortunately, it just is too much right now. Okay, hey, ouch! The pain, that really hurt. We gotta be getting close at this point. Bardock is doing pretty decent. He hasn't lost too much health. I really don't think this is the Feast de la Resistance, though. I don't know if that's really the, the word I'm looking for here. I mean, maybe if I spoke a little bit of French, I'd be able to handle what I'm saying. Either way, it's really cool to see us above Vegeta, and it's all pink and stuff, or reddish, I guess you could say. Now, I don't know if Vegeta is reddish because of its atmosphere, or if it's actually reddish on the planet itself. I don't know, they don't really show too much of planet Vegeta, and it seems like when they do, it's inside. Either way, let's fly on down. I mean, I've seen more about Planet Vegeta on the movies than I have anything else. Oh man, let's go. Ooh, okay, taking out you, and then finally, let's Kamehameha this guy. Oh, no, no, I said I wanted the Kamehameha. So rude. You just won't take death to the face, will you? Okay, then we'll have to do it the hard way. Come on, uh, uh, no, no, that's not the hard way. That's actually the much easier way for him. Come on, uh, 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 come on, uh, almost there, boom, okay. I have actually leveled up our normal shots like that, you know, our square and triangle, a lot, so it should be doing a lot more damage now, and it definitely is so far. We just gotta keep beating these guys up, though. It's a sort of like a slowly but surely thing, and hopefully this starts spiking up soon in interest. It's starting to drag on a bit after, you know, the 10th or 11th guy. Come on, 
Ba-boom! Got him. Not a big deal then. Not one big deal at all. <laughs> Was I a big deal? Nope. Were you big dealing? I don't think so. Oh man, come on. He's almost down, but I'm missing all my shots, so that won't help. And I can't, oh, I hate that. When you're up against a big group of guys like this, you can't like hit any of th those types of moves because they'll just pack at you and they'll just cancel it. Hey, hey, no, no none of that in the banner. <laughs> none of that right now. I love how they do have some mixed colors though, so that it's a little more interesting. It's not like the same clone ever, over and over again. Let's go into Super Saiyan and spam our weekend a bit. I tried looking for a new ultimate move, but to be honest, I couldn't find anything that was as good or didn't ex you know cost a fortune. <laughs> So hopefully maybe soon we'll find something, but at this point I doubt it. <laughs> Either way. I mean, besides, you know, what I already showed off, not too much changed. I mean, it just took some leveling up. Besides that, my character's already pretty powerful at the moment in time. Of course, maybe if we run into more challenges and higher-end um, <laughs> parallel quests, maybe that won't be the case anymore, but for now it is. All right, I gotta take out Naval or some of them. Oh, okay, this guy's almost down. Come on. No, uh, come on. Uh, no, just die, please. I am going to take you out, buddy. Come on. Uh, no. Oh, he's he's pushing my buttons right now. Come on, come on. Are you kidding me right now? This guy, he will never die. Maybe he wished on the Dragon Ball for immortality and just never told anybody, and it's finally becoming a use to him. <laughs> nope, I guess not, though. We did kill him. Now he's got to take out this guy who's being just as pesky. Maybe not as much, but man, how many of these guys have we taken out? It feels like we've taken out like at least 20, but apparently it hasn't been 15 yet. Hopefully soon. Come on, I'm getting so sick of this. So stinking sick of it. Come on now. Ooh. Boom! Okay, that landed nice and well. Definitely what I wanted. Got another guy over there, too. Just to start beating up right after this guy. <laughs> just line up, single file. You know what to do. And there's another one down. It has to be this guy. This guy has to be the last guy. I cannot see it being any more than this. There are more people in the background, but I think it'll just keep spawning them even if, you know, you've defeated 14. There'll still be a bunch left. So, come on. If <laughs> I really hope it's this guy, because I'm getting so tired of doing this. Frieza! Get out here! I won't ever forgive you! Zabon, it's in the upper hatch. Oh, it looks like Freeze is coming out now. Uh oh. Oh man, Freeze's ship looks so cool. Oh man, here he is, Freeze. And he's angry too. <laughs> You're on fire, Bardock. You are angry. Why the hell are you attacking us, Frieza? We did what you wanted. We followed all of your orders. And now this? I decided to exterminate the Saiyans. Along with them. You Saiyans were just being used. Even nothing but tools. <laughs> what in the... That's odd. Frieza should have destroyed planet Vegeta without ever bothering to fight Bardock. Let's take a look, see what's going on. Try attacking Frieza. I'll try my best, but I'm not really doing anything right now. Not even damaging him a little bit. He's got that guard on and everything, using my super moves, not being much of a help here. Now it is. And like this two bars of health really isn't that intimidating to me anymore. It used to be, because when we first saw it and stuff, but now it's just not a new concept anymore. So I mean, of course I gotta take out these other guys like Goopery and Orlin, but they're sort of getting in the way more than anything. So I'll try to take them out, but <laughs> it hasn't been easy because once I start attacking one, the others attack me and I just can't move. Come on, not Frieza. If, if maybe I can take out these guys and just focus down Frieza, that will be the easiest route, but I'm really not sure, as Goopri is showing up over here. Well, get out of the way, Goopri. Yeah, there's a sort of this popping back up, I think. <laughs> it seems this will be the last time I gaze upon this planet. I won't forgive you! Ah! Oh, man. So is Bardock gonna go Super Saiyan? I'm really excited and curious about that. Bardock is such a cool character just because of his nobleness, and, like, he just cares. Like, you can tell... That he's definitely Goku's son. Of course, he's a little. I think he. I think given a chance, he'd be a little bit more evil than Goku, just because by the nature of growing up with other evil Saiyans. Besides that, I think that definitely he is like a. He is a good-hearted person. So yeah, let's uh, take that in that capsule. There we go. Ooh, come on. Where is he? He's over here. I'm taking out Frieza. It should just be his first form. It would not make sense for him to go in anything beyond that because he definitely didn't in the series or in any type of canon setup. Well, is Bardock canon at all? I don't know. Hmm, I think he is. I think he's just very minimally canon. I don't know, though. 
I can't remember, to be honest. There's just so much that isn't canon, and there's so much that is that it's hard to decide what's what at times. But feel free to let me know if you do know for a fact that Bardock is or isn't canon. Feel free to let me know. But he's getting down here now. Uh, oh boy, come on, buddy. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Not doing any of that. Oh boy, no, no, no. Uh, they're really throwing me for a loop here. But basically, you know, my strategy with this is just to have health capsules. That way, if I start running out of stuff, it's not a big deal. Alright, that didn't do anything. Oh no. I probably should have did a few more weekends there, but I want to keep it riotous. I don't want to just keep spamming weekends all the time. That's just boring and annoying. Alright, come on. Almost to him. Bardock isn't doing so great right now. He's almost dead. Which is a little bad. Come on, uh, stop throwing stuff at me. I just want to take out Frieza. I don't care about the rest of you. Ow! He's too pro for me. And what planet is that off? And the yellow one. Is that like a smaller side planet? Is that a moon? What was that? Hmm. A little intrigued now. There isn't a sun from what I see either. The fate of planet Vegeta <laughs> changes my fate. Hecalon's fate. And your fate! This is the end! <laughs> Change the future! Oh, and there we go, we finished! Nice, what's gonna happen now? Oh man, Frieza, don't do it! Not with just one finger, you're gonna destroy everything! Why must you destroy? What? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bardock. I wish I could have known you better. Oh, where'd he go? But there goes Pana Vegeta. That's not getting sucked <laughs> up in a wormhole. Splendid. Well, would you look at that? Zarbon, Dodoria. Beautiful fireworks. Ah! <laughs> I'm so glad! Welcome back! I thought... I thought you were caught in the explosion! Good job. It seems we managed to protect this era. Aside from Bardock... That black hole that swallowed Bardock, did you see it? Oh yes, that's the wormhole. So... Then we have to hurry and follow the wormhole that swallowed Bardock. But I don't sense anything suspicious in the scroll. Demigra isn't controlling it directly, so you might not sense his energy coming from it. Okay, Trunks. You mind checking it out for me? Check that? How, how, how am I supposed to do that? It's all in the scrolls. You'll have to read them, okay? Reading? Um, what time period is this? How should I know? I asked you to figure it out. Hop to it! Trunks has defeated many enemies in his time, but not never, never ever has he had to read. Each and every one of these scrolls? You mean, all of them? Mm-hmm. Good luck with that. I'll let you know when I find things, too. Ha <laughs> ha! Ha! <laughs> oh, um, sure. I'll check it out. Um, please come back later. Okay then, so there is Bardock's done. So I think that's it for now. That's really cool, but it looks like not everything is finished. We can come back here some other time and check out what else is going on in this interesting saga. Either way, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching, and I want to know what you guys thought about this little bonus saga. Like, what, how has it been for you so far? Do you think it's cool that we've been able to fight alongside with Bardock? Either way, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and share it with your friends and family, and comment in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.